The goals of this tutorial video are to get you as the user up and running on the cloud. I should note that this tutorial has been specifically designed for use on AWS or Amazon Web Services. However, other cloud computing platforms may be used, but the instructions below will need to be modified accordingly. And I do want to note before we get started that this tutorial does require AWS services beyond the scope of the free tier. Therefore, cloud computing costs will be incurred and you as the user are responsible for these costs. In order to complete this tutorial on AWS, you first must launch what's called an EC2 or an Elastic Compute Cloud instance. And we need to make sure that this instance is properly configured with the necessary environment, software, and library dependencies. And in addition to these library dependencies, we'll also be going over the primary software and utilities that are needed to run through the tutorial. We use Docker and Singularity as the container platforms, and these are required to run through the necessary steps to complete the tutorial. And then there's also helpful utilities such as WGroup2, which you can use to interrogate the post-process model output, NCView, which can be used to look at the model output, as well as ImageMagick, which can be used to look at figures that are created of the model output and verification. There are two ways in which you can achieve building the proper AWS environment, and I'll be going over both of those. First, you can launch an EC2 instance from a DTC maintained AMI. An AMI is an Amazon machine image, and it's simply a saved copy of an EC2 environment that then can be used to launch a new EC2 instance, and you already have the software and tools that you need pre-installed. This will allow you as the user to more quickly launch the proper EC2 instance and begin running this tutorial. I would encourage you, if you wanted to learn more about AMIs, to click this link here, which will take you to an AWS page on Amazon Machine Images. The DTC does maintain and provide a public AMI that's called the DTC Utility base end version 4.1.0, which is our current version of our end-to-end -end system. And it does contain all of the required tools as well as other useful utilities. You can also choose to build and configure the EC2 instance from scratch. And we do provide all of the steps that are needed to install the required softwares and tools. A user may then create an AMI. And again, we provide some examples on how to do that with AWS provided materials. The user may do this if they choose to, and you can also choose to include other tutorial specific content. For example, if you download the data, you download the container images, and then you may use that as your AMI as well. It all depends on what you as the user find preferable. 